Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is amazing. New audio workflows in Adobe Premiere Pro. They're great. In the latest update from Premiere Pro, they've completely changed how the uh, clips look and how fades and handles work. It's amazing. This is a long time wish for a lot of users like myself. Let's go have a look. So first of all, have a look at the colors of these clips. This, the new colors that Adobe uses are amazing. Bright, vivid, very modern, and I think they're gorgeous. And of course, you can change them if you want. All right, so I've got two audio clips that are completely different here. I'm going to hit play and you'll hear them jump between. There's a big difference between the two. There we go. So in the past, I would have made a selection in the middle and I would have used the keyboard shortcuts to put in a, a crossfade. But the crossfade never allowed me to control how quickly or how slowly the crossfade worked. It was a pain. Watch this. You'll see these little handles now when you mouse over, depending on which one you have selected will be live. But if I click on this and start moving it, I get a new handle. So this is going to be the fade and you get to see how quickly or how slowly it fades in. This is even more amazing. Go the other way and now I'm fading both of them in. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. We'll fade them like this a little bit quicker and now I'll hit play. And instead of a jump, they fade into each other. And if you want them to fade uh, quicker or slower, double click on it and just like before and you can set um, a specific value. Also notice in the effects controls, we get some controls here, the fade shape and the fade value. So you could change this number. I'm dragging this number here and it's changing. And you can also choose between linear and between cosine. So you've seen cosine. If I go to linear and start moving this around, it looks a little bit different. It's subtle, but it's different. Now, what I want to show you is the difference of, of how steep that is or how shallow that is. So I've got an audio clip here of a countdown. And I want you to listen to how far the this voice gets to counting down. So this is with no fade. Starting countdown. One, two, three. And you'll hear every four, single number. Five, There's no fade on it. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And now I'll fade them out by dragging that. And you'll see the fade is gradual. So four, you, five, you should six, hear most of the numbers. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If I make that steeper and play it, three, four, five, then it's six, gone by about here. So that's what these handles will do. They fade. They don't automatically work with overlaps. You still have to move them around. But this is a huge, huge update uh, for working with audio files and audio fades. Um, digital audio workstations have had things like this for years, and it's just nice to finally have them in uh, Premiere Pro. There's a few other things. Uh, the new badges in here, so when I click on the badge, it brings up the effects controls. Um, the badges now have one color. So, and, and they'll only change if you've made a change up here. So if I make a volume change, you'll see it's now a, a white color where this one over here is uh, faded. So it used to be that, especially for video clips, you could tell whether you had intrinsic effects or extra effects or motion or what have you, they would change their color. But now they're just one color, but it's still very useful. The other thing you, you'll notice is that um, you can see these little, icons and um, right now the tagging that's going on uh, is going to show up based on auto tagging. So 
Uh, I, I didn't have it turned on when I brought these in, but when you, you auto tag, it tags these clips. It, it, you can see it's, it, it'll know it's music. In the preferences, it's in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, audio, auto tag audio types in the timeline. And I didn't have that on when I was putting this tutorial together, but it will start to uh, auto tag dialogue, sound effects, music automatically for you. So when you're in the essential sound panel, you've got uh, quicker control because it already recognizes the, the, the types that they are. Now, next up, another update is how the waveforms are drawn. Over here on the left, if I hold the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, just on that clip, you'll see the waveforms changing. And you can see that it when it gets really small, it goes to one. So the idea here was, instead of trying to cram all the information in the tiniest track, why not uh, remove that, that second stereo track and just show you the overall audio waveform. It's just a little bit easier to see. Now there is another uh, command in, in um, here where you can show audio clip header on small tracks. So the audio clip header is this information area up at the top, like the tagging and the effects. If I make this smaller now with that setting on, you can see it keeps it there. And Adobe listened to users where some said, I don't want that. So if you don't want that, turn that off. Now when it gets small, it's more about the waveform. Okay, now I also want to show you that I'll drag in another clip and we'll look at this one. I'll make it bigger. Let's zoom in. And here you can see it's a 5.1 clip. Look at that. Once you get to a certain point, it's going to remove all of the other uh, channels in there and just jump to an overall waveform. So if you look here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six areas of each channel. They're not combined, but when you keep going, now they're combined. So I think this is a really good trade-off instead of you know trying to smash in all of those different channels. You can't see anything. So um, it reduces that and just shows you the overall. And uh, this is something that uh, the Adobe folks worked on for a long time and, and it uh, really does make sense. So this is it. This is the new audio workflows. They're just fantastic. I love working in this way. It's just great. You can clear this out by um, right clicking on any of these and hitting clear. So if I can go back to the middle one, right click, clear. Uh, whoops, I didn't want to clear the whole clip out. I just wanted to select the transition and there it is. So it's important to note that when you see those channels disappear, like from the 5.1, it's not getting rid of those channels or mixing them down. Nothing has changed in your audio. It's just a different way to represent things when the space is so small. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. There's lots of free stuff for you to download there. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get maybe a little bit too excited about this stuff, but show you all the cool stuff that Adobe is bringing to new versions of Adobe Premiere Pro.